आदरणीय साथी गांव गरीब किसान युवा 2019 के बजट में थोथे शब्द बन गए हैं जिस प्रकार से दो रुपये का अतिरिक्त बोझ पेट्रोल और डीजल पर अतिरिक्त कर लगाकर और उसमें पैंसठ पैसा और जोड़ दीजिए जो लोकल टैक्सेस का है दो रुपया पैंसठ पैसे का अतिरिक्त बोझ आम जनमानस के ऊपर पहले ही बजट में मोदी 2.0 सरकार ने लादा है उसकी चर्चा चिदम्बरम साहब ने की मैं ये भी याद दिलाऊं कि पिछले पांच वर्ष में बारह बार डीजल पर चार प्रतिशत एक्साइज ड्यूटी बढ़ाकर और 211 प्रतिशत पेट्रोल पर एक्साइज ड्यूटी बढ़ाकर पांच वर्ष में जनता की जेब से 13 लाख करोड़ पेट्रोल डीजल से मोदी सरकार 1.0 ने निकाले और अब फिर दो रुपया पैंसठ पैसे का अतिरिक्त बोझ लादकर आज जनता को लूटने की नई तैयारी शुरू कर दी है क्या यह न्यू इंडिया है क्या यह न्यू इंडिया है जिस बजट में रोजगार के सृजन की बात ही ना हो क्या यह न्यू इंडिया है जहां गांव गरीब किसान किसान की आय दुगनी करने या न्यूनतम समर्थन मूल्य की चर्चा ही ना हो इसीलिए श्री पी चिदम्बरम जी ने यह कहा कि यह पूरा बजट दिशाहीन है और एक तरह से आंकड़ों को छुपाने की अनर्गल कोशिश है टू इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोग्राम लाइक मगनरेगा मिड डे मील स्कीम हेल्थ केयर एक्सेट्रा and to vulnerable sections like scheduled caste scheduled tribe minorities women etc we are shocked by this department departure from the usual practice belying widespread expectations the fm has given no meaningful relief to any section of the people on the contrary the fm has increased customs duties on a large number of goods protectionist raise taxes on petrol and diesel exploitative and proposed extensive amendments to the income tax act that would increase the tax and compliance burdens on the taxpayer the budget speech had the usual part a and part b it has been the most disappointing part a in recent years we cannot recall part a of the budget speech that was so totally bereft of any reform not to speak of structural reforms the most disappointed person must be the chief economic advisor the ceo had set the goal for india to become a 5 trillion dollar economy and premised his entire argument on boosting private investment there was no indication in the budget speech of any measures to attract greater private investment the only investment related proposal was to increase the fpi limit from 24% to the sectoral limit pertaining to the industry if the investi company opts for the higher limit we may point out that fpi is not fdi and we are sure this is not the private investment that the ca had in mind In Part A, the FM took about 60 minutes to unveil programs, which turned out to be mostly expansion of current programs and schemes: more rural roads, more electricity connections, more LPG connections, more toilets, more LED bulbs, more homes for the poor, more clusters for rural industries, and so on. She also assumed more responsibility for the central government. for school education and college education the modi government treats india as one big state government and has taken upon itself the responsibility to do things that are the right and duty of state governments this is not cooperative federalism it is an unequal partnership imposed by the center upon state governments apparently the prime minister believes that only he and his government can deliver basic public goods and services to the people we disagree we think that states have the capacity to deliver public goods and services 
and it is not correct to reduce state governments to mere local administrations. Another grave infirmity in this approach is that the Modi government refuses to measure outcomes, refuses to take note of field reports, and refuses to correct the exaggerated claims of success. If we can pick any ideas in the budget speech that were interesting, it was the idea of a credit guarantee enhancement corporation and the idea of a nationwide gas grid and water grid. But there are no details whatsoever and hence we cannot offer any comment. Altogether, the budget has been prepared without listening to the voices of either ordinary citizens or knowledgeable economists. The budget has also belied the modest expectations raised yesterday by the economic survey. Thank you.